With so many players and famous YouTubers such as New York, Anomaly, and the War Owl announcing that they are quitting CS, well, mainly on official Valve matchmaking servers because of the insane amount of cheaters. Of course, there are a lot of minor issues as well such as game crash, utils not working properly, and many, many more. But the biggest issue of all is definitely the cheating problem. Clara! I mean, have you ever heard of a single game where the only way to play the game is through a third-party platform? Well, in CS2, the one and only way to play the game without cheaters would be Face It. But as of now, even Face It are facing some kind of issue. I'm not really sure if they are smurfing or cheating, but there are way too many prodigies in Face It recently. Like if you look at this Steam account level 0, or with just 6 matches into the game and destroying everyone, I think esports organization should definitely sign them up into a team because they are the next dog. I honestly wanted to make a video and trash talk Valve and CS2 as well, but I decided to try and be a little more positive on the future of CS2. Some might say I'm the Lulu and Acoustic and they might be true, but I believe. So the point of this video is not really to talk about how cheating is the problem or Valve is being lazy or I'm quitting the game to go uwu in Valorant. <laughs> None of the negative things that are going around the internet regarding the state of CS2 and Valve. Those videos have great points but I'm making this video to also put back some positivity into the community. Wait, that kind of rhymes actually. Cool. Anyways, although I agree that Valve has been a bit slow on their approach, they have never ever stopped making the game better and better as time goes on. If you look into the past, Valve has always improved CS. In terms of graphics, I think everyone would agree that CS has come a long way. I mean, look at CS 1.6, then to Source, and then to CSGO, and finally CS2. The jump in graphics is absolutely insane and definitely looks a lot better. And in terms of map design, they have always changed the map based on players' feedback and made the map a lot more competitive. I still remember the days where Vertigo was one of the worst map ever to play on and now it's actually a slightly decent map. Even the reworked map Inferno is looking better than ever and being the most played map in CS2's first ever major at 15 times played. Yes, some top players might say that with great util usage, the game is basically just delayed for the tease, but for most of us, it is still a great map to play on. The utils have also been improved tremendously. Previously, you used to be able to throw Molotov like a smoke where it never breaks if it's on air for too long. It was so overpowered that pros agreed upon not using it during CS tournament. And after that, Valve nerfed it to what it is now, which made the game much, much better. And even now, the utils have also been reworked on, smokes are now volumetric which is a whole lot more realistic and frankly looks cool. Unlike a certain game where it's just a ball. <clears throat> Grenades are also used more often compared to CSGO because it can now break smokes which is honestly a really smart and fun feature. All in all, there is a lot of great things that was created, fixed and changed by Valve which is the reason why CS is and always will be the best FPS game ever. I mean sure now it's an absolute mess with cheaters and bugs still not being fixed but they are definitely fixing it just like the clipping bug where jumping on certain spots are inconsistent. Although it took them a whole month to fix it, and sadly it is still not completely fixed, we all know that eventually it will be fixed. I truly believe in Valve's capability and I feel that it's not fair that we only look into the negative side of CS all the time. I know most people are more inclined to watch or consume negativity and drama, which is why a lot of content are revolving around it. I mean, it's not even just content, it's just life in general, where people prefer being negative simply because it's easier and takes no effort at all due to what evolution has made us to be. Some of you keyboard warriors probably are already trying to or have commented on this video saying that I'm stupid and naive or the game is trash because of blah 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 blah. But do keep in mind, I'm not saying that the negativity going around is wrong and that we should be positive all the time. In fact, most of the negativity are justified, but I feel that there must be a balance in negativity and positivity. Like I don't see anybody talking about the Major anymore, although it was one of the best I have ever seen. Or whenever Valve released a new update, all I see is people saying things such as, it's about time Valve released this update, or 
I'm shocked that they still have not added a cat themed map yet. Like what? <laughs> okay, I'm getting too excited. But imagine if every time you finish a task your boss gave you, or whenever you have done your homework, and all you get is why didn't you finish it faster or you did this wrong or you're stupid, that would definitely make you feel terrible. And that's sadly what Valve is experiencing right now. Anyways, it's a bit of a rant and I know this video won't get much views, but I would like to play a part in trying to just make the community slightly more positive because I really, really love CS. If you haven't noticed, I literally quit my job for it. I make YouTube revolving around it. Like I'm literally doing everything there is just to play CS. It's a bit insane, but I truly, truly love the game. It's a game where no matter what other games I have played, I always have the thought that I would love to play some more CS because I have the most fun in it. Well, what do you think? Do you think CS is going to die or Valve is just going to pull through like they always do? TLDR, I believe in Valve and let him cope.